do it. I've always liked to sew. My mom taught me how to sew when I was in college. I bought a machine before I went back to school and I, I took that to my dorm room. I started sewing in my dorm room, just whatever I could make. I'd make backpacks for friends and, and just, just goofy stuff, just, just an excuse to create. And in, in school, actually, we were at Western Kentucky University and there really wasn't much in the way of collegiate apparel. Uh, you know, they had some sweatshirts and some other stuff, but what I wanted was a cool tailgating belt and it didn't exist. But I, you know, I said, I know how to sew. I, I've got some leather left over from an old project. And I went to the bookstore. I bought the Western Kentucky dog leash and I brought it back to my dorm and I cut it apart and I sewed it onto some leather and I made myself a belt. And I thought this thing, I mean, this is, this is awesome. This is, this, is, this is me. And my friends loved it. And they started saying, hey, you know, Clay, can you make me one? I said, sure. That was kind of how it got its, its start. We were six months past college graduation. Uh, Clay was doing industrial heating and lighting sales with his uncle. I was in dental school and we ended up sitting in a hot tub in Gatlinburg, Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, all our friends had gone to sleep for the night and we're sitting there drinking a couple beers and I had had Clay help me make a key fob and a few other products for my girlfriend, now wife, when I was an undergrad. And I said, you know, are you messing around with that stuff anymore? And he said, no, you know, I'm off to my real job. And I said, well, would you be interested in trying to turn that into something. And he said, yeah, I would. So we got together, spent a few months, came up with some goods that we thought would, would be well received in the market and put those out there and the rest has been history. We started in our dorm room, playing around, making a few prototype products and then we were working out at Clay's bedroom in his parents' house. Uh, after a few years of doing that and seeing that there was demand for our products, we moved down into the hip and happening neighborhood in the Highlands, uh, Bardstown Road in Louisville. And that was big time. Yeah, I mean, we had our name on a sign. It kind of looked like a lawyer firm. It was pretty legitimate. And before long, a year later, we hopped across the street. We had 1,200 square feet, and we thought we were living big. Um, one thing led to another, and now we're downtown on Main Street in Louisville. We've got 6,000 square feet, and that's where we make all of our products, handmade here in Louisville, Kentucky, every day. You know, we've been able to build a really big team and, and be more efficient and buy newer machines and move into bigger spaces. And, you know, we started this just, just two people with a vision of better, longer lasting, more durable American made products. And, and that's something we never want to get away from. It's, it's always going to be, how can we make this better? How can we give a better experience to our customer? And I think as long as we keep that vision, it's never going to go anywhere. We'll continue to develop and create new products and innovate with what we put out to the market. Uh, we'll always continue to be made and manufactured proudly here in the U.S. and continue to offer our fans and other consumers uh, products that we stand behind for as long as we'll be here.